So the camera should shut off in a minute. It's still on, there it goes. So now it's gone into power saving mode. Anything we can shoot. We want to be a moving target, so just gonna wait a sec. Hopefully, we can get a moving target. So, literally, just push the button and it'll extend back to 600 mil. Come on, push, just push the button. I'm on the birds, he says. There we go. That's because I wasn't really paying attention. But anyway, so you can actually get the camera to turn back on. I'll do that again, actually. It's quite difficult holding camera and phone trying to. Get a rough idea where it was going. Um, but basically I've set this to a minute and basically gonna turn it just it'll just turn itself off. So it's whatever you set it at, so 600 mil at the moment, I'll just leave it. Um, and basically it will close itself down, shut itself down in a minute uh, to save power, but at the same time I don't know he's at the same time it will Go back to 600 mil as soon as I push the power button. So if you know what you're doing, so if you basically you know you're shooting birds in flight, for example, and you are just obviously just walking around and it's gone into power saving mode because you haven't seen anything for a while, it's kind of there ready to go as soon as it can. I mean, probably two seconds or so for it to extend fully. Um, but you know, it's an all-in-one with 600 mil, so you can't you, you kind of everything. So it's not quite as quick as a carrying a 600 mm f4 lens with a DSLR on it or a mirrorless because oh, he's got loads of stuff hanging off the back of his trailer. <laughs> That's really funny. You think you really need to sort that out, mate? Right? He's pulled over. Oh dear. Oh dearie me. Um, yeah, so we just need to wait now for something to... Oh, okay, here we got some birds coming in. So she's turned off. Let's push the button. And it'll just go out to 600 mil now, without me doing anything. There we go, and the birds are over there. Aim, shoot. I think they're lapwings, or they could just be seagulls. But it's quite a handy little thing to be able to do, that you haven't actually got to extend it yourself. It just does it kind of automatically. Bird there in flight. Can't actually see here. It's my target, there is. <laughs> Bit of a blast. Um, look at this little guy here, he's not actually bothered about me at all, which is kind of nice. Muddy feet, mate. Nice reflection, though. Bit of eye autofocus, amazing. I can't even see his eyes. That's the only downside with the RX10 is the buffer is obviously it fills up very quickly and I think that's where when we get the new version we, we could see elimination of I mean hopefully they put the CF Express cards in one that'd be a mental the ultimate all-in-one that's what they should make Sony get on it we could be in hopefully into one nice surprise but I don't mind paying the price for it if it's as good as that one of the coolest things I've got set up with the autofocus is I've got the side button as adjust my autofocus areas but i've got a quick focus so at the moment i've got it on wide as you can see you've got it just randomly on them look at my feet but um basically if i then push c3 which is just there i now have a small like a medium center focus which is really really handy for just quickly swapping backwards and forth so you just push it again it goes back to multi-focus kind of thing Right, I've gone into the second menu up there, you can see. Go to Custom Key Shoot, go into there, and this is where you can change your custom buttons. And where I used to have 
the custom button 3 as register AF area toggle, I now have it uh, on the center button, which is the obviously in the middle of the wheel. So basically all, all you need to do is go into one of the, whichever button you want to use, you can program pretty much all of them. Uh, and you've got register area hold, so you can actually hold your finger on there if you want to. Uh, so if you have it set at hold, basically if you want to just have it only focusing center, for example, when you push your finger on the button and hold it there, if you let off, it will actually go back to the, the other one. Uh, if you have it on toggle, which I have, basically you can literally push it once and it will toggle t from wide to uh, like small or medium spot uh, or center. Um, but basically it does, whichever you had your previous autofocus setting as, it will flick between those. So if you have it on wide, it will flick to that, to uh, medium center, for example, or if you had it from a flexible spot, small, to that, it will flick between those two. So you just gotta make sure you go back to that. Um, if you go to the next page, you can have uh, register AF area and AF on, so you can basically have it on or off. Um, but um, yeah, basically that's how I've done it anyway. So basically that is, come out of there. That's how I've set mine up. I did have it on three, but basically you have to move your thumb down quite a long way to actually utilize it. So I've just gone to the center button uh, basically it's an easy easier sort of access to it instantly so that really helps anyway, i hope that um is a little tip there and it's really actually helpful just for swapping from you know wide to uh, you know relatively center smallish kind of autofocus area compared to having to sort of even though i've got the left button not the left button sorry the lens button set as af area you have to push it once and then decide what you want to use rather than just um, clicking the button and going th cycling through them. So that's a little bit annoying. On the A7R4, I can do that. So I've programmed that lens button as basically, you know, you click it once and it'll go to wide, click it again, I've got it the center, and then click it again, it will go to a small spot. Well guys, I hope that video was relatively helpful it might help somebody out there not sure i've used these techniques for quite a while now i normally have my camera on two minutes as a power saving and if i'm out and about walking like i, I was um, looking for wildlife i'm going to be at 600 mil most of the time so it's actually a really quick and easy way of having the camera ready pretty much to go straight away um, also the toggle between the autofocus systems between the wide and uh, like a medium center for example is really really helpful as well That's, for me it works really nicely hopefully it might work for some other people not necessarily everyone but you know it's down to you at the end of the day so i just thought i'd share that please click that subscribe button the little notification bell there is more to this video to come i just thought i'd do this bit as a a small um little sort of tutorial sort of thing um hopefully it might help some people out there um but there's more of the walk I went on and uh, some more wildlife shots and everything coming soon. Uh, so watch that space for that. And uh, like I say, don't forget to click the subscribe button, the little notification bell, um, then you'll see when I've actually posted it. So um, any questions about anything to do with the RX-10 Mark IV or the A7R4, A7R3, anything like that, feel free to ask below in the comments. Don't forget to click the like, the like button as well. And also, if you'd like me to do a video, if you're stuck with something, and I can do it, feel free to ask. I will do my best to, um, you know, help you. And uh, see you soon.